gang gang so before we get off into this vlog of the day um i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all some of the clothes that i had got for bryce and mariah let me open you guys up because y'all were asking me so let's get into it this is just a little tummy head figure shirt that we got for bryce now all of this stuff right here is in a 40 and i'll be showing y'all the stuff that I got him in a 5T later. This came from Children's Place. This came from, uh, I wanna say Belk. So yeah, all of this was from different places. But I think this was in Belk and all of this was on sale. Y'all know I love sales. So here is this outfit from Children's, I mean this outfit, this shirt is just a little collar shirt. And I got him a couple little collar shirts. They are the same. They are from Children's Place. Uh, and then this one. Okay. And then it's this one. So, yeah. Okay. And then this, I think, came from Belk as well. Or it's a little Nike sweatshirt. It's so cute. I fell in love with the arms. How it's different colors. And... He always look cute in little sweatshirts like this. But this 40 as well. He has a lot of different pairs of black jeans. But this one is from Children's Place. And it is the... I wanted to say this is the skinny jean. But it's two different black jeans. They look alike. But this is just a pair of black jeans. Because I love black jeans on him. And I got these in 40. But that's why I said I'm going back to get him 5T stuff. Because he's growing really, really fast. So these are some more jeans, but these are a different type of skinny, um, skinny jean than the other skinny jean. So yeah, they're 40 as well. And then just some more regular jeans. All of these jeans are from Children's Place. So y'all know they clothes shrink, um, kind of. So you got to be careful when washing their clothes, which is why I'm going to get him 5T. These are some gray ones. I think I got him three different type of gray jeans, which if you follow us on Snapchat, you've seen him wear some during the week. And I try to answer some pictures of the other three outfits that I didn't get to uh, put on here that's been on Snapchat. So, more jeans. So, yeah, that's pretty much all of bright stuff besides those outfits. And then here, uh, we have my mind stuff. So my my stuff came from Justice, JC Penney's, and Children's Place, I believe. So yeah, these are from JC Penney's. They're some Arizona skinny jeans, and Mariah wears a size 12. So yeah, she gonna be a thickums like me. And basically, it's they skinny leg jeans. And y'all know, like I said, this is a dark wash. I really like these. Okay, these are from JC Penney's as well. Just a medium wash, and this is their jeggings, the Ari the Arizona jeans. These are really cute. I guess I'm gonna show all the pants first with her. These are from JC Penney's as well, and these are the jeggings, the super skinny leg, and they are light wash. So yeah, I mean she go to a school where she don't wear uniform now, so she can never just have too many pairs. Rocky scared the crap out of me. Too many pairs of jeans. These are from Justice. And these are some of their jegging jeans. And I kind of like this wash. It's like um, mix, a dark and light mixed together. I mean, I should have had them try these on for y'all. Let me know down in the comments if y'all want them to do like trial hauls and stuff. As for now, I'm just showing you guys. These are from JC Penney's. I want to say two. They really cute. They almost remind me of corduroys, but they're not corduroys. They're actual jeans. 
These like, these are from JC Penney's too. So yeah. And I like these because you see this bottom part right here? How it folds up. I really like that. And they remind me, they super soft and comfy, comfy. They stretchy jeans, but they're size 12 as well. Oh yeah, all of Mariah clothes. Like I think I mentioned they are size 12. And these are 12 as well. And here is the bottom there lighter color than these right here and then we have some more from jc pennies just some more dark wash jeans um and here go another lighter color of the um the ones with this at the bottom and then we're getting into the darker jeans i i like these i thought it was cute the detailing was cute so these are from jc pennies as well and they are dark wash too and then of course i had to get her some black jeans these are from justice so yeah and then i got some more of these and they are darker darker wash and they got this at the bottom too and those kind of remind me of jeggings but let's get into some of these shirts so here's the shirts this is cute. She got a lot of shirts. I pick her up shirts pretty much all the time because you can just never have too many of these like graphic tees. But these are the long sleeve ones because you know it's about to be cold down here in Tennessee. I don't know where y'all from but in the mornings it's been kind of cool. So Bryce been wearing all his long sleeves. This one was one of my favorites. Smart is, smart is in style. I like this shirt a lot. And her shirts are medium and or 10, 12, or sometimes I just get her shirts in a 10. But she's getting bigger, so mediums and 10, 12s are what I get. And these just some regular little t-shirts. And y'all know they be having these at JC Penney's, like just laying out. And this a long sleeve one. So yeah, um, she been wearing some of hers too. So if she has put some on, I answer them. But I like the bottom of this to look flare out really cute and then this one is a shirt that you that her friends can autograph or sign so it comes with a little marker to be able to write on the shirt so yeah it's real pretty that'll be cute with some leggings and then this right here so yeah and then her dad actually went out and went shopping for her too he sent these home because he always ordering her stuff off of a children's place whenever they have a sale or something like that so this just some more um jeans so yeah that's pretty much all of the clothes i know y'all was like show us the clothes show us the clothes so well on my snapchat y'all was so there are the clothes i'm about to go take these upstairs now I gotta go in our closet, which y'all know our closet is the junk dungeon because Erica has a special interview tomorrow. So yeah, I'm finna go find this shirt for her and then I have to go get my wax. So I guess I'll take y'all with us for the rest of the day. Um, I just threw this wig on to come on camera. I will be having my wig sale soon, so be on the lookout, okay? All right guys, so I'm back and it's me and my move. She riding with me to go to my appointment. Hannah just got off work. She actually did find her shirt that she was looking for. Um, I just got out the shower. Hey, when, when you make an appointment? What? When you make an appointment? I've been having an appointment. Yeah, I went to the wrong. Let me tell y'all about this. So, I, went, I go to the same girl to get my wax. Her name is Josie. But they be switching locations with the Honey Bunny Wax or whatever. So y'all see me pretty much every month. I vlog myself going into the um, wax place to get my wax or whatever. So I might record myself reacting to me getting the wax today. I may just do that for you guys. I'll record. No, you not. He, he put huh. this stuff in there and it aired the balloon. It you wanna say? Oh yeah. So yeah, so anyways, I went all the way to one side of town and I was supposed to be on the other side of town. And that junk had me pissed off. 
so then i was like well they was like well you want to see somebody else but the last time i saw somebody else it was this little old lady and she messed me up and it hurt so i was like nah i'm gonna just wait so i was like she don't got no more appointments for today i'll just get something tomorrow but they end up having um a later appointment for today so that's why i'm going now which is 6 40 p.m so let me get over here get us there safe and then i'll talk to y'all once we get there Good, how are you? Good. I recognize you. Yeah, <laughs> with my red hair. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. I went all the way to Hickson this morning. Oh, did you have one this morning? Yes. Aww. But I forgot. It was my fault because you told me last time. But I couldn't remember. Mr. Walter, do you need to use No. I'm pretty sure I saw your girlfriend on the mall. You did. Was she at the mall? Yes. She goes on her lunch break. I saw so I was there on well I've seen her oh oops, sorry. Oh, it's okay. sorry. I've seen her on your um on a Snapchat. Yeah. Yeah. And I was sit I was at the mall with uh, my boyfriend and I was like where did I never have seen her and then yeah. I remembered. Oh crap, I'm ashy. <laughs> I know. I've been at home all day making wigs. Hold on, y'all. I'll be back. Right, so I look crazy, but I guess y'all want to see my pain tolerance, which is really good because <laughs> I've been coming to Josie for a long time. I was telling them earlier, too, like, um, they was like, you want to go to somebody else? I was like, no. You can't go to nobody else. No. So I had to wait. Are a lot of your followers in Chattanooga? Um, I got a lot in Chattanooga. Yeah, more than I thought. They all over the place, but... I didn't think it was as many as it is in Chattanooga. So if y'all in Chattanooga, you need to come and see Josie at the Honey Bunny. Are you back over here? Or are you just, mm -hmm. you back over here? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, she's back at the Hamilton place. <laughs> so, yes. Honey Bunny on Gun Barrel. Make sure y'all come ask for Josie, okay? And tell them that you referred them. And tell them that I referred you, okay? But she's the best, for real, literally. Because I remember one time I went to this other lady here and it was like... <laughs> You didn't care. Mm -hmm. No. See? It's not too bad. What have you been doing? How you been enjoying um being pregos? Oh, it's fine. I found out I'm having a boy. You having a boy? <laughs> <laughs> no, why are you laughing? Because how you feel? Great. You feel great. Like you didn't carry it away. I didn't carry it away. Yeah. I knew it was a boy. You did. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I knew it was a boy. Woo! <laughs> okay. I saw the funniest <laughs> pose yesterday from this girl. I don't know who she is. I don't know if she's famous. I don't think she is. But uh -huh. She's posting about her Brazilian wax experience. Uh -huh. What'd she do? She was just putting all these extra emojis. <laughs> she literally walked to Facebook through her whole experience. Yeah, it was funny. It was what? like funny. <laughs> I watched this one girl on YouTube actually, and her facial expressions were so funny. I was like, what oh, is no, that it's bad? Awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. But I guess it depends on the person doing it too, because I think that has a lot to do with it. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, so I feel like the pain level, like whether it's like severe or if it hurt really, really bad, it depends on the person and how, like if they know what they're doing or not. Because it's not like intolerable, but it's not like, oh, I like going to get waxed either. No. Yeah. It's a, it's a must thing. I yes, do you have. I have to. Yes, and once I started back, when I started back coming last year, I've been coming since I started back coming. Did you stop? How long did you stop? I didn't stop. You've been coming since you started. Since I started, yes. Well, I've been waxing you for. It's been a while. It has been. <laughs> it's been a while. I feel like we done grown together. We done exactly. built a whole relationship. Yes. <laughs> And now she's expecting a baby boy, y'all. I'm so excited for her. My baby boy. She's like the sweetest person ever, so I know she's gonna be brief. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> tip number one. Yes. A good mommy. Tip, tip number one, breathe. <laughs> That's hilarious. But then it gets to the part. Y'all know what? The back doesn't even hurt at all. It's just those sensitive spots. A lot of people think that's the most painful part. The back? Yeah, when the, their first time coming in, mm -hmm. like, I don't want to do the back because I know that hurts. I'm like, pull your knees to your right. chest. Right. Yeah, yeah the, the knees to the chest. That's the easy part. Like, that part is just like a breeze. Everything else is just like... Not fun. No. That's your daughter. Yeah. She looks just like you. She's my twin. <laughs> She's so sweet. She said, I'm coming. I was like, uh, I don't think but so. But you're not coming in. <laughs> what she say? <laughs> Listen, she was just like, um, it's okay. Like, I'm like, said. yes. Aww. She's so sweet. She wanted to vlog for me. And you said? I was like, well, not this time, Moo. <laughs> That's so funny. Yes. Is that your buddy? Mm-hmm. She's very different from me, though. Like, how so? She's, well, I was kind of quiet when I was little, but I was, um, I don't know, I guess because I had my nieces and nephews. I kind of grew up with my nephews and stuff. So you're kind of loud? Yes. And my daughter is real laid back, real chill. Is her dad like that? Yes. He is? Mm-hmm. Do you talk to him? Yeah, we cool. We actually are really cool. We, act, we like, I feel like we should have been brother and sister. <laughs> like... Does she ever have an issue with him? Not her, but your girlfriend. Uh, no, not him. Not that one. The Bryce is that. That's another story. <laughs> yeah. That's the one you're calling her calling. Mm hmm. Right. But, yes. So, like, we don't talk to him now, but years ago, we used to all always stay into it. So all y'all three? Yes. Me, her, and Bryce is that. We never, like, all three of us used to always be into it and he just did not he couldn't get jiggy with nothing he took me to court because i wouldn't go back to him he tried to take bryce he filed for full custody i had to go through all of that with him because he was angry and bitter like i moved he couldn't know my address him he still don't know our address or where we stay i still go through his mom and stuff like she that. won't tell him mm -mm. no she cool with me it took us a, a while to build a relationship too. But now, when I see him, like if I pick up Bryce from his granny's house, because we have joint custody, um, he'll speak and stuff like that. But we don't really have no bond like me and Mariah's dad have been able to build a bond. Right. Like co-parenting. But do you think Mariah's dad, act like, y'all are really, like there is nothing there. Y'all are just friends. Yeah. There's nothing there between on your side. Do you ever think right. there's anything on his side? No, I it used to be. Now, before me and Erica got really serious in 2014, I knew that um, he still had love for me and stuff like that. But, mm -mm. but it, not now. No, and it took us a long time too to kind of be able to have a friendship like we are being adults because we were young. Like I was with him while I was in high school and stuff and he was in high school. So once we got out, we were still together. And we I was with him from when I was 15 to like almost 20. So I mean, it was a lot. Long time. Yes, and it was a lot to let go. It was a lot to move on because like at one point I knew I didn't want him, but I didn't want him with nobody else. Like I was one of them baby mamas. You got jealous? Yeah, that was crazy. I was a crazy baby. <laughs> you ain't crazy. Girl, I was crazy. Were you really? <laughs> yes, like kicking down doors, beating people up crazy. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. I was crazy. For no reason, though. And then... Yeah, because you didn't want him? I didn't. <laughs> and then I got with... But I'm the baby mom, so I'm going to do what I want to do, and y'all ain't going to do shit about it. Yes. Hug your knees. <laughs> Cause that's how it is. It is. Cause you can make their life hell, really. You can. <laughs> but now I just try, like, I just focus on being the nicest I can be. Like, you know, it's, it's no fun in trying to make somebody else's life hell. And no. then he's always been a good father, a good well, that's dad. That's really what matters. Yes. So I was like, 
I never like deprived him of his child or anything like that. Even if he didn't pay. Yes. Now he did. Both of my baby dads are on child support. Um, are. Mm hmm. And that's the only time me and Mariah did like we did not get along whatsoever because he felt like he didn't need to be on child support. Well, but was he paying you? No. And I feel like if you don't live in the house with that child, you need to pay some type of support. Whether you're going through the courts or just giving me money. Giving me money, right. So because he wasn't just giving me money. Mm -mm. He was picking her up. He was doing stuff and stuff like that. But I still had bills. So I'm like, okay. And groceries. And groceries and, and gas. And I have to take her back and forth to daycare every day. Like you, and you buying her shoes ain't helping me out. No. I got you. So I don't think dads they get that that you paying for this child to be alive and to be taken care of. Right. Not just get taken her to dinner or whatever. Yeah. And I guess because you know a lot of baby mamas they just do what they want with the money or whatever. But it's a big help to me. Oh for sure. Okay. Go back to butterfly. It's a huge help. It is a huge help. So yeah, that was like the only time that we were mad at each other, me and him. Right, so we out of there. Me and Josie had to get a little personal. We always have them talks every time I come. But now I'm gonna take my mind, get her something to eat, and um, she wanna go to my mom's house. So that's what we finna do. $5 kickbacks at $10 save, and most Alright y'all, I'm home. I forgot to check in, but baby been going over her um, material for work with me. And I've been like her little team member <laughs> that just sit here and say nothing and listen to her go over her things. So that's why y'all haven't seen her on the vlog like that. Because she's been working, working, working. You gonna say hey, baby? Hey. But um, yeah, I'm getting ready to edit a vlog right now. Yeah, I made like two, three, three wigs today. Um, restored some hair, and yeah, I just gotta ship them wigs off and put a wig on for someone tomorrow. So make sure y'all are shopping Lovely Looks Collection. Make sure y'all DMing me if you want me to make you a wig. Um, my four hundred dollar sale will be coming back soon, so y'all be on the lookout for that. But. It's time for us to lay it down. So I'm pretty sorry that Erica wasn't in his vlog today. As much as y'all would have liked her to be in. I don't think she was in this vlog. Or the vlog yesterday really. But oh yeah she was in the vlog yesterday. The vlog yesterday was funny. But it's finna be the weekend. So y'all know we finna be vlogging it out. We gotta get Rose Toba popping. Because I feel like we so behind. Um, and we need to get some videos filmed up so we won't be behind anymore. So, yeah, let me get this vlog out for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog without my baby. We haven't ended a vlog in a long time anyway. So, I love you guys. We will talk to you on tomorrow's vlog. And good night. Sit down. Be humble. Be humble. Sit down. Be humble. Sit down.